Hello guys, uh, welcome to my Aston Villa career, and um, uh, Bazing HD obviously, um, going straight into the whole game. Not a very long video because I don't think there's much in it, and I will be bringing you a massive episode um, um, next. Um, I'll be showing you the simming the Everton game, then playing the West Ham, and I'll be also playing the West Middlesbrough game, going far in the Capital One Cup, so keep your eye out on that one, so it's going to be a big episode. But we are kicking off here at, um, at Hull. Just there, uh, come from a game last week. Um, beat Spurs 2-1. But we do have the first chance. Um, Abong Lahore, deadly on the left. Abong Lahore, quite worried out for the header, but hits the top of the net in. So we are attacking them. And um, it is us who get the first goal. Andy Vyman shugs off Figueroa. Gets a cracking ball in. And who's there? Who is there, as he always is, Christian Benteke, the big aerial threat beast from Belgium, just to head the ball in past them, um, I think it's Harper who's in goal, but uh, correct me, or it's McGregor, but good as usual, is Agbonglahor, we do get the second goal, Agbonglahor gets a cross in, who's there again, it's, it's <laughs> Christian Benteke, absolute brilliant header, which hits the post, and it, all he does is, um, as you can see here, just slides on the floor, kicks in with his left foot. S simple tapping, 2-0 up, 32 minutes in. And look at this shot, Mondalf, absolute cracker. So we are pressuring them till half-time. And um, do get across here with Grenier. And who's there? Vla, brilliant header, but it's a brilliant save. And we're just attacking them every single time we're on the ball. But it does end up 2-0 at half-time. So it's a good start. Ben Teko, the absolute tank, getting the both goals. So um, half-time scores look a decent Cardiff. So, um, but look, we're just absolutely dominating the shots, shots on target. But 2-0 at half-time in the Premier League, you can't always say you're going to win. But it is um, Hull City who um, do get the, the first goal in the eight, no, 79th, like their first goal in the 79th minute. Nothing really happened till that, so that's why I skipped it till then, because nothing, absolutely nothing happened. But they did get their goal, and we need, I think we need to improve our defence, because I think we've conceded in every game, except the Arsenal game, which is 0-0 for the start of the season. But it does finish 2-1, uh, so that's two wins on the bounce. So that is um, so that is brilliant. Benteke, obviously, the tank. But obviously dominating still on the shots. But um, all I can say is I'll take three points away from home all day long. But because it was Hull, I would have said we need the three points anyway. Just because it's that big of a game, especially Hull coming up. Coming up from the championship and not really. I don't think they've got a decent side, to be honest. I think they've got quite a poor team. The only person that I really like is uh, Robbie Brady, who I think is an, an amazing left mid. Fortunately, I think he's out injured in real life for a bit. But, um, but hey-ho. And, um, but yeah, I'll be bringing you next episode, um, obviously Everton, and um, the other games, got West Brom, Middlesbrough, not West Brom, West Ham, Middlesbrough, in the uh, Capital One Cup, but just going to motivate the team, ready for the next match, and um, I think we're really doing good at going up the table ever so slowly. But if we get a couple of more wins, a couple of more draws, we'll get a, a loss here and there. But, um, but yeah, looking good for the future. And uh, hopefully I'll bring some people in in January. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching my episode. Uh, keep an eye out and I'll speak to you in a bit.